really having patience with people who don't treat what you think is valuable, they are not going to think that. And the, the, the example here is the Airbnb. We talked about this earlier. I thought that everybody was going to treat my property that we invest money in as their property that they would put a lot of good care into. I learned the hard way that's not the case. And early on in, in my career here, and Brian's laughing because he know I had a short tipper early on. So I, I took that personally. But I had to learn the hard way that, no, it's, it is an experience for them versus an investment for you. And you have to realize that as long as they're not doing it on purpose, it's going to be okay. Yeah. You got insurance. You have other means if something goes wrong. So having patience is something that I learned the hard way, but it's something that I try to work on every single day. And it's helped because we've had other issues come up. And because of the early experiences, it did not phase us. And we, uh, we kept moving forward with better and better reviews for our properties. Yeah, I wouldn't say you had a short temper. I think you just took it a little personally that someone just... <laughs> Either way, short temper <laughs> took it personally. It, 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 didn't, uh, it didn't go as well as it should have, but you, you live and you learn, as they say. Yeah, man. And congrats on being a dad. I mean, that's really cool. But I will say the one thing in the planet that will teach you patience is kids. And oh, so, 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you can hopefully relate to that and be like, you know what? If, I'm, if I can uh, learn from my son and then put that into practice in other areas too. It's like patience is a virtue yeah. for sure. That's Brian, right. what about you? Um, yeah, I went, uh, one thing I've learned, uh, maybe there's like more recency bias, but I, what I've been focused on is like um, just how important your time is, you know, in a sense that, uh, you, you know, every minute that you're spending on one thing or another, I mean, it, it's such, it's one that you're not going to get back and you only have a set amount on this earth for sure. And uh, whether, you know, uh, you're spending it browsing your phone or kind of looking at something that's kind of wasted time or whether you're spending on something like that you're really passionate about, like cloud guys are spending with your family. Like, how are you going to spend those minutes? Um, it's something that I've just been reflecting on. I think I've honestly, I think everyone's wasted time and everyone's not you've made the use, best use of their time, but I've tried to just of late um, just really keep, keep it hard and, and uh, almost calculate like, you know, if I spent, this many more minutes on something, what, what would the return be? Like if I spent this much more on this relationship, what, how would, you know, this, this like, you know, how would both our lives be better? This much more working on this particular coding problem, would I be able to solve it? Like what are, what's the return of actually time spent? Because it's really, you know, you can ask any billionaire, anyone who's made it all the money in the world on real estate, you know, anyone would take, uh, you know, trade all their money back in for more time on earth <laughs> or to be young again. So um, I think it is really the most valuable commodity we have. Oh, no doubt. I love that. I love that mindset. I mean, I feel the same way. I feel like it's just becoming more and more limited and it's becoming more and more valuable the older I get. And maybe I just recognize it. Like you said, like maybe I'm just actually slightly more aware. So yeah, such a, such a cool things.